Well, I finally got one of these Home Depot skeletons and holy cow, is it huge. This thing is 12 foot tall and it's about as high as my house. Look at that, that's amazing. So the coolest thing about this particular skeleton is that it's actually not real, as you can see. This is just a demonstration of the super cool feature on the Home Depot website that allows you to have a real life view of their products. Some of them at least, because not all of them will do this. Isn't that just so cool? Now you will have to calibrate your phone, as you can see here, that my phone, my phone is doing now. But once you do that, you should be able to just put it wherever you want. Oh, wow, okay. And now it is here. Look at that thing, it is insane. Absolutely awesome. That is a huge skeleton. Now let's see what else we can play with. All right, now we have Inferno. Absolutely awesome. And behind it back there is a six foot fence. It's not very close to the fence, but you can still see how huge this thing is. Wow, that is one ugly thing. Ooh, it moved. It's chasing us. Oh God, run. And there it is next to my kid's swing set. It's just absolutely huge. It always blows my mind how tall Halloween decorations are now. It's just this constant race to make them as large as possible. All right, that's not quite working. It's kind of just going inside of the swing set. Let's play with another one. All right, so here's one of my favorite ones that they have, which is this three and a half foot Chucky. It's a lot cooler when it's animated. Unfortunately, I don't think I can make it animate through the augmented reality feature of the website, but man, it really looks extremely realistic here. Look at that thing. How creepy is that? So yeah, this is Home Depot's three and a half foot animatronic Chucky. It's definitely one of the cooler ones they have. And you can check it out on their website. In fact, you can do what I'm doing right now and view it in your own backyard if you want to. And there it is. All right, just for fun, let's compare what the virtual product looks like versus the real one. So on the right, we have the virtual mini Skelly, and on the left, we have a real one. And they look pretty similar. Of course, it's worth noting that my yard is not even, and the virtual skeleton is not quite perfectly placed on the ground, but it still looks really close. Good job, Home Depot. This kind of technology is surprising because it does give you, it gives you at least a good idea of how the product would fit in the space. So there's our creepy virtual mini Skelly. And here's the real one, which of course is much creepier. All right, and so here is another one of my favorite ones at Home Depot. This is the Frankenstein, which I believe is like seven foot. And it is, as you can see, pretty damn big. Look at that thing. It's kind of hard to believe that the Skelly skeleton is 12 feet. Look at that. And now it's moving around, which kind of creeps me out. I don't like when it starts chasing me.
super cool. So anyways, that's it. That was fun. Check out Home Depot's website and you can find the augmented reality feature that I'm using right now and I'm capturing on my phone. As you can see, it's really cool if you want to judge how high something is like compared to your fence or whatever. This thing is actually really far away from my fence, so it's deceiving. It's not really that tall in person, but I have found that overall it's pretty accurate. Um, and if you want to have a lot of fun, you can spawn these in restaurants and stuff. So, okay, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you and bye-bye.